Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wolf Guard Zone. Um, on our show here, we try and uh, kind of help educate business owners on what to expect of their IT support um, or cybersecurity company. And today, uh, our topic is going to be employee or imposter. Uh, does your IT know the difference? I want to paint um, almost like a picture for you uh, uh, this today. So think about this. You have this IT company, maybe even your own IT department. Um, but you have this group, this IT group that is supporting you. And you have you, all your executives, the owners, your staff or employees that are all calling in to this group for support. All right. So you're calling in, maybe your email is broken, printer can't print, you know, reset your password, um, uh, can't get into your email, you know, all these different things that you hire an IT company for, the reason why you have them. But I want to talk to you specifically about can your IT uh, distinguish between legitimate people that you're paying them to support in your company versus people um, pretending to be your employees or imposters. So um, certain scenario I want to paint in your, your mind is um, there are, uh, since COVID, there is a big amount of people that started working remote, right? Um, uh, pretty much everybody went remote and now still remain uh, a lot uh, of staff being remote. So what we started seeing uh, a little before COVID, but then when COVID happened, a big amount of people uh, were remote. And so we started seeing hackers trying to impersonate uh, staff of, of, of companies. They would do a little research They'd find out, uh, you know, you can look on social media, you can look on website testimonials, uh, you know, all kinds of different resources free, publicly available on the internet. And these hackers will research and find out what IT companies are supporting, um, you know, different companies. And then they will call in and, um, you know, pretend to be someone from your company. So yeah, you pay this group, you know, to help you when you lose your password or to get into your email. But think of, um, you know, situation or one situation that, uh, um, you know, I've seen before is, you know, hackers always try to make things sound urgent or uh, time sensitive. So if someone uh, called your IT support company, claimed to be you, the owner, and said, you know, hey, I'm on vacation. I just got this email for this proposal, this great opportunity. I got to get it going. Uh, I'm on vacation. I, I just dropped my laptop in the pool. Um, you know, I, I lost my work, but I can log into this, this other spare computer. Uh, I just got to get my password reset. You know, this is real important. I just need to get this done real quick. Please reset my password. Is your IT company going to be able to to know who that person is that they're claiming to be. Uh, is there a verification method uh, in place? You know, if you call your bank, for example, they're able to uh, verify you are who you claim to be. There's other companies, um, you know, financial companies that do this as well, but it has not been popular at all that your IT company, to, uh, you know, for them to do uh, user verification. And so this is happening. Um, you know, I hear stories about it. And so with our company at WolfGuard, uh, we developed a product called ID2020. And what this is, is a double blind verification method. You know, we're able to uh, verify when our customers come in that they are the actual CEO or just an employee or a staff we have different levels of permission uh, for each of these people. And, but yeah, if, if that person is calling and saying, hey, I need support, do user verification, get them approved, 
um, identified, and then we're able to proceed with helping them. Um, so when you're, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that companies don't think about when they're looking to hire an IT company. Can they verify my staff? You know, it's very important. Otherwise, hacker can impersonate somebody, do some research, gather inf enough information to fake their way, make you think um, that, that they are somebody else. Get a password reset. Okay, they have a password reset. Uh, or they have that password. Now they can log in from pretty much any computer in the world, get remote access or log into your email, um, you know, hack your systems, uh, ransomware. I mean, everything could just kind of go off from there. So I just really encourage you to um, make sure your IT company, you know, has that user verification. Um, also, I wanted to offer up to everybody a ebook that we put together. It's a, a, just a one page little flyer. It's great to hand out to all of your staff, um, but it's on password uh, best practice, how to create a complex password that's hard to, hard to hack, but it's also very easy to remember. And there's a, a kind of cool guide on this. Um, it's a great resource for, for you to use and yeah, hand out to your staff. Make sure everybody's using uh, um, password um, best practice there. But that's all I had for you today. All you guys, stay safe. Take care.